Hey guys, it's Jessica from Essence of Love Reborns. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday and I'm changing a baby. <laughs> so for everybody who is new, hello and welcome. Um, I have a couple of new subscribers and I've subscribed to a lot of new channels lately and I just wanted to chat about that and just just come on today because it's been a while and you guys haven't seen this baby in a long time in like the longest so I thought I would come on and give her a change so this baby and I'm sorry if y'all can't see her you will be able to see her I will turn her around I'm just um, just changing her, and then when I get her changed, I will, uh, turn her around, but you should be able to see part of her. Oh my goodness, there's hair, my hair. <laughs> I swear, it's not even the dog hair that's annoying, it's my hair. It just falls off my head. Oh my goodness, but anyway, for those of you who do not know, I am a blind reborn mommy and I film all my own videos without the help of anybody <laughs> and I'm not very good at it. So if my videos are not like Oscar winning award amazing performances, that is why. <laughs> but I'm trying and I make videos, you know, with my babies because I enjoy it. Um, but I'm not very good at the whole cinematic end of things. But I will turn her around the other way so that y'all can see her proper when I get her changed. So for those of you, I don't know what you can see of her. Let me get my face out of the way. So she, this baby, is the Miranda Sculpt by Bountiful Baby. Um, she was reborn by Stephanie Ortiz. We all know Stephanie in Love with Reborns 2011. And I got this baby last year at the Rose Doll Show. She was my second Rose Doll Show baby. I was only planning on getting one. And then I ended up with two. Funny how that happens. <laughs> I'm not going to change her diaper because it looks fine. Um, I named this baby Stephanie after her artist and Stephanie thought that was a great name <laughs> so I actually really enjoyed hanging out with Stephanie at the Rose Doll Show in 2017 um, I'm just gonna show y'all what I'm gonna put her in it is very hot out today so I'm thinking that I'm gonna do less of my usual covering up and just put her in a onesie because it is onesie weather it is hot it is like 20 something 29 degrees oh, celsius anyway this is what she's going in um it's this onesie i always feel very hypocritical because i love and adore when people describe their baby clothes to me and I've watched so many channels that are so good at that and I'm going to give some shout outs in a minute of all the channels that I've been enjoying lately. But I always feel like a bit of a hypocrite because I cannot describe my baby clothes. <laughs> um, and Stephanie, actually before she sent me this baby, and I don't know if you, will, if you would be able to find the video now, it's probably buried. But she did an amazing box packing video for me um, because I didn't take this baby home from the Rose Doll Show because I already had a baby that I brought with me and then I had Tori Mae and so I didn't really think that I would be able to carry three babies home. <laughs> um, so Stephanie said that she would ship the baby to me, you know, after the show and that was fine. And so she did an amazing box packing video where she described all of the outfits that she sent with with my baby. Um, she sent her with a, a few things. And she put them in little baggies. 
I still have actually this little Ziploc baggie that I took the outfit out of and I might put it back in when I'm done just to keep it together I think actually I will um, even though this outfit is pretty self-explanatory it's just a onesie and then it comes with this little hat which I may or may not put on it's kind of hot for a hat so I might leave the hat but the hat's cute um, so I'm gonna just chain her into this onesie it's not even onesie Wednesday y'all it is it is Sunday best and I'm doing onesie Wednesday today <laughs> But anyway, like I was saying, I met Stephanie at the Rose Doll Show 2017, and we had an amazing time um, just hanging out in the lobby of the hotel until like stupid o'clock in the morning, <laughs> um, probably like at least two, and we just had so much fun it was like myself and my friend Mary and like a bunch of other like collectors and we're all just Stephanie and Jackie there wasn't like a huge group um, but it was it was a nice little size of a group which is good for me because I'm kind of an introvert and I don't really like a huge group but it was like the perfect size group where we could like all chat and have conversation and anyway it had gotten quite late and we were joking about how Shelby, who is my seeing eye dog, probably needs to go to the bathroom. And I was like, yeah, you know, she probably does need to go. And it was like stupid o'clock in the morning. Okay, I was going to try to put this over her head, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put it on her feet first. Even though she does have painted hair, and I feel like I should show y'all her painted hair if that's a thing that can happen but I'm going to put it on her feet first. But anyway, so we were joking about Shelby needing to go to the bathroom and it was late and Stephanie was like, you know, one day Shelby's gonna give you payback for this and she's gonna walk you off a curb and be like, huh, that's payback for when you didn't take me out until like three in the morning. And I was like, yeah, you know, you're probably right. <laughs> and it was just really fun and really funny and they were just, awesome to hang out with um, and so yeah that was fun and I am definitely going to the Rose Doll Show in 2019 that is a thing that is going to happen I haven't got my tickets yet but I'm waiting for those combo passes y'all as soon as those combo passes come out I'm going to be on that. But I'm probably going to room with, well, I am going to room with my friend Amanda from Bet Your Fur. Y'all should check out her channel because she's another blind reborn mommy. Although she has the lovely help of her lovely boyfriend to help her shoot her videos, which is pretty fantastic. I live by myself. <laughs> so I get to do it by myself but anyway her videos are amazing and she's got some cute babies and she's always on the move or doing something and she's really really fun so you should check her out if you're looking for a new channel to sub to that's bet your fur uh, fur is spelled f-u-r-r -R. and uh, she's pretty fantastic so yeah we've been talking about going just trying to get her her hand through the onesie we've been talking about going to the Rose Doll show next year and being roommates and we are super stoked for the tea party um, a vintage tea party like yes please I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to get like one of those super cute christening gowns I've always wanted those for my babies like and I would never put them on because I'm not like a dress person like anyone who's watched my channel for a while knows that my babies live in sleepers like that's my favorite thing to put them in is a sleeper the fluffier the cuddlier the better um, except for when it's hot like this then I just feel guilty and I'm like oh guess I gotta put them in a 
something else. <laughs> but, um, so if I had one of those christening gowns, like, I would probably never put it on. Except for the tea party. Because, I mean, if you're going to a vintage tea party with your baby, aww, you just gotta have a cute you know, dress or something. So I, I'm gonna splurge, I think, and get, I, I haven't decided what baby I'm gonna take yet. I have no idea. But when I do decide, I will splurge and get one of those cute christening gowns. Um, aw, hi onesie baby. Let's turn you around the right way so that your aunties can see you. I'm kind of a gadget girl, so I like to joke like this way is is portrait mode <laughs> when the baby's lying, you know, horizontal. <laughs> and then if I flip her into landscape mode, <laughs> I'm kind of a dork. I work in a, a retail store that sells technology. So I think about portrait mode and landscape mode all the time. Yes, we do. Don't we, baby? Here. Get your face in front of the camera. Get my face out of the camera. All right, so there she is, y'all. There's your niece. That's Stephanie Renee. Hi, Shelby. Um, good girl for staying out of the video. So, yeah, y'all can just look at her, and I'm just going to finish my chatting. <laughs> so, I um, wanted to do some shout-outs because I've been enjoying so many good channels lately, y'all. People can say whatever they want about the Reborn community and how it's drama filled and how it's whatever, whatever, but there is some good content out there. There are some good people in this community and some really good channels. So one of the channels that I have been loving and adoring lately is my girl uh, Tashi over at Pixie Mommy's Reborns. She is amazing. Her descriptions of her outfits are amazing. Her just personality, she's super bubbly. She's just like, I feel like, like I'm kind of an introvert and she's the kind of person that would get me out of my shell. <laughs> she's just like really cool and she recently did a box opening of a beautiful baby, Adelaide. Um, and y'all should go check that out. And she does a lot of really good and awesome discussion videos um, where she just chats about different topics in the community. And she's just really, really great. So that's Tashi from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Um, check her out. Another channel that I've been loving lately is Lisa from Beloved Little Angels Nursery. Um, she is also really really great um she's got i think three babies um and she does changing videos and i think she's quite new shelby's like oh you're on the floor i'm gonna just <laughs> little silly dog my dog is silly no don't lick my face go away go away <laughs> trying to make a video talking about babies not you She's like, you're on the floor. Play with me. Oh. Girl, what? But anyway, um, uh, Lisa from Beloved Little Angels Nursery. Um, she is really, really fun as well. She did a, an interesting video the other day where she reviewed, um, oh my goodness, it was a product and I was thinking like, oh, I want one of those. Oh, it was a co-sleeper. A co-sleeper. Um, I had never heard of that before, and she she did, like, a little review of it. And I'm like, man, that would be cool, because you could, like, put your baby, you know, in the bed with you and, like, not worry about rolling on them. And I don't know. I thought about getting one of those. Um, first, I'm trying to find my dream carrier. Um, try to get prepared for Rose next year. Because I don't think we're going to be renting a stroller. Two blind chicks and a stroller. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work too well. So I'm trying to find a good carrier that I will be comfortable carrying around all day. 
Anyway, shout out number three that I've really been enjoying is um, Rena from Rena Reborns Are Forever. She's pretty new um, and she is really cool. She makes a lot of her own baby clothes, which I think is amazing because I certainly could not make my own baby clothes. <laughs> um, and she has a beautiful Saskia who she named Blessing Miracle. And y'all should just check her out because she's really, really nice and really cool. Um, who else? I know I can do more shout outs. Um, I've been enjoying those three a lot. Um, I know there's some others that I've been watching that I've been enjoying. Um, last night I just found another Jessica. I believe her channel is Mama's Reborn Pumpkin Patch. And I thought I would give her a shout out. I haven't watched a lot of her videos yet because I just found her yesterday from looking on the comments of someone else's video. And, um, but yeah, she, she is, uh, just seems really, really nice. And she does, seems to do a lot of shout outs too, which is cool. Um, and who else? There was one other person who I've been really enjoying and I can't think of her nursery name. She's friends with um, Dottie of Dottie's Daisies, who's another channel who I really like, um, and another person who I, I really like. Um, she's someone that I would consider a friend in the community, and uh, yeah, Dottie, she's really awesome, Dottie's Daisies. So while I'm doing shout outs, y'all can check her out too. Um, she has the cutest like southern accent like she just makes me want to drink sweet tea on her front porch with her and rock our babies <laughs> that's like what i think of when i hear her voice or like honey or like something sweet and i'm like oh my gosh um but this girl what is her baby love it was baby love something baby love nursery baby love baby's love she has a baby named Charlotte who's a toddler. She's probably gonna watch this and comment and be like, it's me. <laughs> a girl, if that's true, then comment and be like, it's me. Cause I cannot think of your name, your channel name, but I'm giving you a shout out. Um, I think it's Baby's Love Nursery or something like that. But she has a toddler um, named Charlotte. And she did, one thing that I really like about her um, and I'm sorry I can't think of what her first name is either and I'm pretty sure she said it in one of her videos <laughs> but um, one thing that I really like about her is that she will take her babies out and interact with them like in public there, there was this really cool video that she did at Walmart where she took Charlotte to Walmart and she's like talking to her and interacting with her in the in the store and I just thought that was so cool and so brave and I just love and admire that and I thought it was amazing um, just totally epic and totally inspiring and just really made me want to do an outing video which I have never done an outing well no that's not true um, when I when I went to the International Doll and Teddy show in North Carolina in 2016 um, when I went with my good friends Amy and Anna, um, we took our babies, well, we took them out, obviously, around the show, but then after the show, I stayed at their house for a few extra days just to make the trip more worth it, so I wasn't just traveling all the way there for a couple days and then heading home, and I was like, well, why don't I just, you know, if it's cool with you, just hang out at your house for a couple extra days and we can hang out, and they were like, heck yeah, girl. So we did that and we had so much fun. That was like literally, I that trip happened like two years ago and I still talk about it like it was epic, because it was. But anyway, we took our babies to a consignment shop one day, or a, yeah, a, a thrift store. And that was really fun. Um, the, the cashiers and stuff were all very amazed at how real they looked and everything and I took Essence um, and it was it was awesome 
But back home, since I've been here, like when I'm here in my own local home area, I've never done an outing. Which is stupid because I should. I really would like to and I should because at the Rose Doll Show last year I got a dolly bag from Susan. Um, from Susan Gibbs who is really amazing. I'm sure we all know who, who Susan is. Um, but yeah, I got one of her amazing dolly bags and I need to use it. <laughs> I need to use it and I need to take my babies out in it because that's why I got it so I could do that. But I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, this is probably getting long and I'm sure you're probably getting tired of just staring at the baby. I'm sorry my videos are more interesting. I hope that, you know, what I say is at least interesting. <laughs> hope you all have enjoyed listening to me ramble for like 20 minutes but anyway I'm gonna make another video soon I have like a few days off from work I don't have to go back to work until Wednesday which is super cool so I have tomorrow and Tuesday off so I'm going to try to make another at least one more video in those days and then on Wednesday I have to work and then Wednesday night I am flying to Kansas City Missouri to go see my guy because he lives in Kansas City Missouri which is cool but I'm super nervous y'all because I have not met his parents <gasps> I have not met his parents um, his parents are separated so we'll be staying he him and his mom live together um, they have an apartment and I have not met either one of them. I've talked to his mom on the phone. I've never had any conversation with his dad. I hope that I'll get to meet his dad at some point while I'm there, but if not, then I'm sure there will be another time. But I'm going to meet his mom for sure and his grandma, and he wants to have like a big get-together thing in his grandma's house one of the days while I'm there. So I'm going to meet like a bunch of his family, and I'm so nervous because I hope they like <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't, but you know how it is, meeting the boyfriend's parents. But anyway, I'll be gone from Thursday until Monday, and then I'm off for a couple days again, and then I work on Wednesday the 16th, and then on the 17th, 18th, and 19th, I am going to my friend's, well, I'm going to... Um, Vancouver Island, which is where I went to college. It's a pretty decent sized island. Um, a lot of y'all may have heard of Victoria. Um, a lot of people, when they hear about British Columbia, which is like the province in Canada that I live in, they either know about Vancouver or Victoria. Um, and they cutely always call it Victoria Island it's called Vancouver Island but anyway Va Victoria is on Vancouver Island and I'm actually going to Victoria because my one of my best friends is getting married and I'm a bridesmaid in her wedding so that will be happening um, pretty stoked about that but also kind of nervous because introvert <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of people there that I don't know and I've been debating whether or not I should bring a baby. I'm probably not going to bring a baby because I don't want to take away from her special day. And, um, so I probably won't, but I will have my little Shelby dog. And she does help to calm anxiety a little bit as well, so that'll be good. But it will be fun. I'm looking forward to it and so happy for my, my one of my best friends. And so there will be that. So I got a pretty busy August coming up. Um, so I'm definitely going to try to make another video, at least one, tomorrow or the next day. Don't hold me to it because y'all know how I am about videos, but I'm going to give it a try. Until next time, uh, peace and positivity. And uh, remember, oh, look, y'all have been looking at Shelby the dog. Yeah, she just decided to lie down right in front of the camera. I don't know if y'all can see her or not. She's just lying on the ground. You've been probably staring at her and the baby. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, 
no matter how old or how young you are, you're never too old to play with dolls. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Um, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Oh, man, don't tell me that my phone died. Did it? Speech on. No, it didn't. Close, close, okay. button. 10% battery remaining. Low battery. Oh. Low battery. 10% close, button. Is it still recording? Camera. Take picture. Stop recording video. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, y'all. Blooper. <laughs> I didn't know my phone was recording. Bye.